this. I don't like this at all. The smoke is bouncing. When you're looking to push the limits of you and your rig, there's no better place to wheel than the tough tracks of Victoria. Here you go. Oh. Hey! Fucking Rocco! He's having a red hot go. But there's one way to turn these tracks from wild to downright insane. Today's tracks just made it explode. And that's to tackle them in the middle of a wet, cold winter. Hallelujah! Oh, that's a spectacular drive! That's insane. The lockers are in, the tools are out, and one huge adventure is coming up. Oh, I'm it's, so excited. It's sensational. That's it, that's it. I want to know that I'm not going to go on my lid. The hills around Melbourne are jam-packed with hidden tracks just begging for a Forby. And this trip, we're going to be linking up with a stack of amazing tracks in the region. We're starting right here in Cobor. Mate, how good? Back in Victoria and uh, got some tough tracks lined up, hey? Yeah, I love this part of the world, mate. There's, um, <laughs> there's some pretty tough ones down here in Victoria. And judging by the amount of water around, I reckon uh, we're going to be in for quite a show. Yeah, you're not wrong. The sun's out today, but it looks like it's been raining a fair bit over the last few days, so I reckon that we're going to have uh, a good bit of fun on the tracks. Yeah, mate. I know the perfect one to start us off on. I'll lead the way. Cobol State Forest is a spot you don't hear mentioned all that often. But trust me, this place offers some top-notch wheeling. With big climbs, challenging rocks, and a lot of committing wheel lifting action. You know you're in for a good time when even the entry track is hectic. <laughs> and we haven't even started climbing before we're lifting wheels all over the place. <gasps> yeah, I reckon As From Mitz is in for quite a ride on this trip. <laughs> Steve joins us again in the Red Arc rig, which is going to be really pushed on these tracks. That was all me. After some mechanical dramas in the snow with the Ultimate 9 GU, Peter swapped over to his weekend warrior rig while the GU gets some repairs. And something tells me he'll still be wheeling it like a boss. Textbook. Lifting wheels downhill, you know you're in for it. Good fun. Right, it's been way too long since the last time I've been down here in Victoria, driving some big tracks. First time in fact I've had the 30 in some hard tracks, so it's actually really cool to see how it's performing. A few little modifications I probably need to make to it, just some fine tuning more than anything. But I think I'm not alone when I say these tracks are just so much fun. <laughs> the angles are on, it's pretty loose. <laughs> Up ahead, the track is starting to look pretty wild. Oh, sick! Rock crawling dog. This would be good to flex up the 30. Well, first challenge of the trip, and pretty excited for two reasons. First being, these rocks look deceptively slippery. I reckon Sean's gonna have a fun time trying to scramble for traction. And the second reason, I've never seen the 30 used in low range anger, so I'm pretty keen oh, yeah. to see how she goes up here. Okay, here we go. Now this is quite deceiving. It's not gonna look like much on camera, but this is a quite a big rock step, and it's sort of off camera into these big roots. So I'm gonna take it pretty easy on the first one and see what happens. Oh, we're staying in the hole, I think. Oh, he's going that way, over the close to the tree. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, yep. Can you go back a little bit and left hand down? The both lockers on? Yeah. Oh, they are? Your front definitely is, and your rear looks like it is too. Stop there. Bit of a bump. That's it, that's it, that's it! Yeah, boy! Yeah. Your front locker's working, but your rear just then wasn't. Nah, the compressor's continually going. Yeah, okay. And I can smell it for a little, so. Ah, well, the front was working. Ah, good. That was a nice drive, it's cool it was to nice. see. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen the 30 do something technical. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. That was mad. It's nice and easy, the auto, too. Yeah, 100%, nice and controlled. Driving on the tracks like this with no rear locker is going to be a real challenge. But so far, the 30's eaten it up. <laughs> it's so fun up through here. Yeah. Just trying to get the D-Max 
the best chance. I want to try and angle up that way. I don't want to slip in there with smaller tyres, so. I'm worried about the D-Max, mate. What about the 17-inch series? <laughs> well, help me to help you. <laughs> the boys apparently don't like my chances because they're already setting up for a recovery before I even hit the hill. All right then, challenge accepted. All right. Jocko, what's your plan, big fella? Mate, I'm just gonna try and stay on the high side of that rock if I can. If I can stay out of the holes that uh, your big tires are in, then I reckon I'll be right. But we'll see how we go. Good luck, mate, we'll spot you through. Yeah, he loves it, he loves it. This is his forte, this sort of stuff. He just loves technical wheeling. Rocks, my favorite. That's it. That's it, Doggo, that's it, that's it. And that, boys, is how you do it. Yeah! Yay! Yeah, well done. Easy done. That was good drive. It was great. Very good drive. Perfect up those rocks that you put down there. Just a little, little tickle right at the end. That's all she needed, just a little. Well. Can you go and get my car now and take it up? Yeah, bring it up for us. Ranger, baby. Ah. Race time. Hello, Pete. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Yeah. yeah! Easy, baby. So far, the IFS vehicles are showing up to bigger trucks, and Peter's just sailed on through. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, go, 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 go! Woo! <laughs> 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 it's just me running right after it that made it go. Oh, well done, mate. That was well steered, mate. Very well steered. <laughs> Hey, you beauty! Chuck <laughs> just lost his mind for a second. I want to go give it a push. <laughs> nice drive, mate. Nice well ride. Well done, mate. Oh dear, I'm just going to keep it slow and steady on this one. Follow Pete's line. Just sort of point and shoot straight up. I will chuck on both lockers because I'm lucky enough to have those. There it goes. Straight up his highway. And go! Loves it. Yes. All, day. Up, baby. That's better. All day. That's a good drive, Ads. Thanks, mate. Nice and smooth. You're all my inspiration. Hey, stop it. <laughs> I'll be around all day. As might be up the first section, but he's not out of the trees quite yet. Oh. And the big 79 is just leaning hard into that log. Ooh, look at that phrase. With canopy damage a real risk here, driving through this one might not be an option. That's it, I reckon. <clears throat> oh, That's bugger. it for me. Oh, so close. I thought he's got an idle through that. He's got logs now hitting the canopy and tray, so probably best to get the winch out. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, there's a, there's a, a dollar every drop. Diesel coming out. Oh, sweet, <laughs> Soon enough, the Mitz truck is out of trouble and past those logs with minimal damage. Beautiful. <laughs> How good is that? Big V8 on song, both lockers on, mud going everywhere, and we're just starting today's track. So, pretty good indication today is going to get pretty red hot. Man, this thing's a beast. Oh, oopsie daisy. Well, that's the beauty of the old Mitch tray is with these are all modular, so you can take it back to the workshop and change it out quite easily. <sighs> these things happen. I don't think you weigh as much, so you should be sweet. To... It's very nice of you to say. <laughs> no, I didn't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> but you are a very fit man. I'm just digging a hole. Stop, job. Yeah, that's good one. That's, good that's it. That's it. Oh, it's not there. It's not there. Back her up a little bit. We'll put some rocks back in. Well, the beauty of being last is the vehicles before have made the track a bit more greasy. All the rocks that you've packed have been spat out of the way. So now we're just packing it. Fortunately, the vehicle doesn't weigh as much. So I reckon if we get him on a nice line, we should be able to bump it up. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, you just backed off. Just backed off, you're there. Tracks like these don't let you go for a cautious approach. It's right boot and commit or nothing. 
This time, Steve's nailed it. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Get to meet the dogs! <laughs> wow! Wow, it was a good drive. It was a good drive. That is utter and pure commitment. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I haven't seen this sort of smoke since something out to 93. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the cab there. <laughs> well, mate, from there, just give it a little bit of a bump up and um, you should be on your way. Good That's drive, it. good drive, good Straight drive. Up. <laughs> yes! He doesn't muck around. He does not muck around. He's gone. He's yeah. gone. Drive. What a ring! A shaky start, but as soon as he got his confidence, oh my goodness. He was gone. <laughs> He's gone. Well, I didn't know it highlights to do 8,000 RPM, but I'm proven wrong. <laughs> Up ahead on the track is a nice little rut that's perfect to see how each vehicle drives ruts differently. Sean's opted to straddle the rut with the 30, which is always a safe bet. On little ruts like this, you're pretty safe with your vehicle, so it's a real good opportunity to put it into the rut to see how it's going to behave so you can learn how to respond when wheels lift in the air or when tyres slip in. Thanks boys. Now you can see here with a big heavier vehicle how differently it behaves when it gets into the rut. That back right tyre slipping in just causes all the weight to shift to the rear and the vehicle lifts up into the air in no time. Whoa, hello. With a big heavy touring vehicle like this, the best option would be to straddle the rut. So Aaron's going to back out and have another go. That was just a mud flat, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it, mate. Keep, keep, it, keep it on that. Yep, right, 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 well, he teed it a little bit there, that was teed cool. Teed it a little bit. I, I made a little, like, really high-pitched note and I jumped backwards because <laughs> I, I, I thought the vehicle was actually going to come over because he jumped on the brakes and it, it the weight more. transferred. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he held on to it like a boss, mate, reversed back and then picked a good line. That was actually pretty wild. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got it, you got it. You'll be back out of that. Now right hand so, down, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, beautiful. No mucking around. That's it. That's how you do that. We've seen already the grip in these winter conditions is pretty much non-existent, which suggests that our next challenge up ahead is going to be pretty hectic. Look Ooh, at this. That is a step. <laughs> Look at this. Outstanding. <laughs> if, you, if you get to here, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't think there is any traction on here. This is going to be a good hill. I think the only way to hit it is comp truck, 8,000 RPM. Yeah. Well, the good news is we'll get to see the 30 have RPM go. first. Have a go. Well, I usually don't install a lot of confidence when I have the first go, but... No, I reckon you'll uh, nail it, but we'll see what happens. When Jock's getting excited, you know he might be in trouble. And with a front locker only, it's going to take a huge drive. Sure enough, these rocks are super slippery. It's like you're trying to drive in an oil slick. I'm gonna come wider. Yeah. I've had a few good cracks at this, but I just can't get the 30s nose up and over. Where his slider is. Is that rear, I think? It's holding yeah. back. Wow, this is so slippery. Before I even get to the rock step, I've got <laughs> all four just spinning on this clay. It's so hard to even walk up, let alone drive. But this is Victoria for you. This time of year, it can be some of the slipperiest stuff you'll ever see. Getting traction is the hardest bit. The boys are doing a good job packing those rocks in. Just want to get the front wheels up the rock step, and that'll be a huge achievement. Even with those rocks in, this one might be just too much of an ask. It's not often we see the old winch come out on the Dirty 30, but it's a sign of just how tough these tracks can be. Once we get him over that step though, there's still plenty of hill to come. So just a quick tip, 
if you're using a winch extension rope like this one, works really well because it's basically just an extension of the winch rope, but it's still smart to use a tree trunk protector because it's flat and it won't ruin the tree. Pete's put the tree trunk protector a fair way up the tree. What that'll do is increase the winch angle, which will help lift the nose of the vehicle up. But it's important to keep in mind, if you are doing that, you're gonna be putting more load on your system, on the winch rope and on the winch itself. So just keep that in mind. You don't wanna to go too high up in the tree because that could exceed the safe working limits of your winch. The water coming off the drum. Mount Skeen fresh. Yep, so there. I might be over the big step, but things are still pretty sketchy up ahead. These hills are super steep. Woo! I'll get this. Slippery. I'll go, I'll go harder on the right. Yep. It's super slippery, and because the front locker's working, but the rear's not, the front's scrambling for traction and the rear's just lagging behind, which is causing the nose to just move around a bit because it's pivoting and sliding along. It's interesting. <laughs> That's insane. This is a great example of why you need to be careful when using just a front locker. It can really get you into positions you sometimes don't want to be in. Cheers, slippery. Time for a bit of a closer assessment, I reckon. This will be a highway now, unless I roll it. Yeah. <laughs> Give me just enough traction to roll it. All right, well, I might have to have a bit of a spirit of drive. Roger that. All right, let's give this a shot. Slippery. <laughs> oh, that was sick. He committed right when he needed to and that rock packing yeah, really helped. Really. I'll tell you what though, don't know how the old D-Max is gonna go going up that hill. Oh, 79. Yeah, true. <laughs> yep, that hill was next level. There's another line we spotted through on the right that might be better suited to the smaller rigs. It's still super rocky and slippery though, and it's gonna need a bit of work to remove a blockage. Well, this is the plan B. Now, I don't think anyone's driven this for a while, just judging by the track, there's a big tree across it. It'll need some big drive. There's still big rocks down here, super slippery. Things can still break and, and the best news, Pete, I'm up the top already, so I'm gonna sit back here and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with it, boys. Slippery dog. Oh, wow, right at the start. <laughs> And the boys thought this would be a walk in the park. No siree. Come on, Jocko. Oh! Once again, low and slow is just not an option here, and a lot of commitment on the loud pedal is going to be needed. There we, we go. Oh. You're hung up. Hang on, hang on. You've got a huge rock under you. Can I go back over it? Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay, slow. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. There it comes. Come on. Yep. No, keep going. All right, coming down. Stop. Oh, oh big dog. Oh. That's that was a big rock. That was a hefty rock. There we go. There we yeah, go. Good job, Well done. Up we go. It's tight back in. Well piloted. Well piloted. Oh, fucking rock go! Oh, yeah. He's having a red hot go. Wow, what a drive. That is one of those situations where you just have to feed it. You back off to for two seconds, you won't start, you'll be going to the bottom of the hill again. There we go, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, got it. Oh 
almost. This climb is relentless. Jock's so close to the top now in the D-Max, but this last slippery section is just holding him up. Come on, get up the hill. You're so close. Oh, that's a bummer. We'll give you a tiny winch and you'll be up Where's over that? this. Well, that's an epic drive to get this far unassisted. I mean, it's just so slippery that as soon as you get like a, a rock or a tree root that's out of place, and the vehicle's gonna climb at the same time, deal with the lack of traction. I mean, that's the end of it. So we just gotta pull the rumber out. Quick winch. You might just have to winch over this tree log here and I reckon he's up the top. Thank you boys. That was pretty fun. To be honest, I was surprised with how far I got with how slippery it is. Having the rear locker in this D-Max compared to the old models has definitely made a big difference. You can feel much more controlled on the hills. It's gonna be interesting. I reckon the other guys will have their work cut out for them. I really like these slippery climbs. I give myself a 70%, 30% to winch. See how I go. That's it, Pete. Right in there, Pete. Ah, oh, so close, Pete. <laughs> Maybe 30% rich. Did I get him? Oh, you just got smoked. I got mud in my mouth. Pete's given it a fair old shake at the sauce bottle, but the vehicle's in a bad spot now. I think that might be it, boys. Watch that. Quick winch. With the Ultimate 9 truck up and out of trouble, it's time for Az to show us what he's got. Keep a little bit of momentum. Okay. Way up. Oh, no, oh, I think I'm going to have to put the front locker on. No, I'm going to go hard. Here he goes. Oh, I heard him grab another gear there. There's smoke, there's bouncing. There we go. Taking it. That's it. That's it. He's not on back. Good drive, man. Look at me, I thought he saw a beeline. Holy heck, this is one of the more committed drives we've seen in a long time. Right, go back. You might have to get second again, yeah. if you can. There we go. That's it, that's it. Go, 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 go! Spectacular drive! Oh, Sooty! Mark is still on the track! <laughs> oh. oh my goodness! Oh, gear, he found it! He did! I didn't know Sooty was here! <laughs> A little winch might, might be in order for this one just to get me up. Woo! That was an incredible effort by Az to get a big touring rig up this climb. And all that's needed is a short pull on the run for to get up and over that final step. We're using a bit of tree branch to stop that winch rope from rubbing on the rock. And after a final effort, the big mid 79 is up and over. Thanks boys. Yeah. Thank you. Last man up the climb is Steve. And he's taken his pace notes from the rest of us with that right boot firmly on the floor. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Whoa, look at it. This track really throws you around and a few line adjustments are in order. Same thing again, second, but steer to me a bit as you come up. Yep. That's it, now go. 
We went in from there. Good job, mate. I'm gonna say that's been a pretty wild hill climb and just a taster of the kind of action Cobor has to offer. For now, though, we're all through. But as it turns out, we're not quite ready to hit camp yet. Well, how's this? The end of the day of wheeling. I've just gone to start airing up and I noticed that my hubs were set to free. The first thing I did was went over to Jocko's window and said, Nice one, mate. I like it a practical joke too. I had a closer look and the hub's actually completely broken. It's actually broken the housing on the hub. So some stage today, it's probably let go. It might have, you know, it's a combination of, it's done Cape York and a lot of hard tracks up around the, the, the Northern Territory and such. It's probably just fatigued. And then today's tracks just made it explode. Manual locking hubs are something I always carry spares of in the 30 and the 80 as well. And to be honest, they're one of the better parts to break in the drive line, as swapping them out is reasonably straightforward. You can be back on the road in no time at all. Soon enough, the old one is out and the new one is in. Good as new. Well, that's pretty cool. Didn't take too long. We're back in four-wheel drive. Get a little dark and that wind started to pick up. I reckon we get in the camp. Get a fire going, get nice and warm. With night coming in, the nearest flat spot is as good as any to park up. And as a bonus, we're just minutes from another track we want to check out tomorrow, which I'm going to say is perhaps one of the most fun tracks you'll find to wheel anywhere. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this adventure. Tell you what, any time I'm covered with this much mud, can only be one thing. We're down in Victoria and have an absolute blast. Now, I was just chatting with Pete, and he's got a couple of goodies to give away. This is a competition time, so listen up. Now, the prize is, get this, it's an Ultimate 9 pack. So what you're gonna get is an EVC X by Ultimate 9. These things are a must have, uh, as well as two stubby holders, a trucker's cap, as well as a carabiner key ring. So it's the ultimate little pack there, and all you need to do in the comments below is let us know what you drive, and why you'd want one of these bad boys. Let us know in the comments, we'll pick out five winners, and I'll tell you what, you walk away one of these, you'll be stoked. We've got a few destinations to hit up on this trip, but Cobor is just so much fun. We've got to give it one more day. After a quick camp, we're soon rolling out back onto the tracks. Although, a few more bush mechanic fixes are soon in order. Mud in your bead can lead to constant leaking, but here's a trick to break the bead out bush so you can get in and give it a proper clean. Well, Pete's had a, a slow leak where he's got just a bit of grit inside the bead here. So what we've done is taken the valve out of the tyre and I've actually drove over it just so I could pop the bead on this side. And we've got half of Cobor out of here, I think. There's all these rocks, there's um, bits of dirt and stuff like that. And then we'll probably just get some air, blow that out. And oh, look at this, there's some nice little bits under, under there. Another handy technique if you have something solid to work with is to use a jack to help break the bead. And just like that, Pete should be back in the game. Our track for the day is called Pinnacles. A long run full of technical clay challenges and big ruts. But once again, just the entry track in is a lot of fun. This is one of those tracks that takes some really careful wheel placement in a lower slung vehicle, but the D-Max is proving to be a lot of fun to drive. Jocko's got the wheeling face out and something tells me he's going to get this one. Go back, go back a foot and give it a little, a little bounce, you'll get that. Ooh. Sorry, mates. 
That's it. Hey, so close, so close. It's, it's just that rear on that tree. Go back, I'll put a rock under it. Try to give that a bounce. Yes, that's the way. <laughs> oh. well, that's well steered by young Jocko. He's got those tyres in the right spot. Gave the throttle when he needed to. That's mad. This is my favourite sort of wheeling. Just like technical, slow, wheel placement. Just... That was mad. White Dog's going to love it through here. That's it, mate. Pete's dialed the throttle controller back for this one that's and it. just cruises through with no dramas. There you go. Didn't even struggle. Straight up. Mate, this thing surprising the heck out of me. I ran that on economy two, so I dampened just the accelerator. Dampened the yeah, so it's nice and smooth. smooth. It's not jerky. You can tell. Very oh, nice, good. mate. Well, Pete just made that look way too easy. Um, I'll take a little bit different line. That's it, mate. There you go. There you go. Good line. Come on. Now go. Very That's good. It. Beautiful. There we go. Well, he steered that well. He did. That's the perfect line. Oh, how good was that? Nailed it, mate. Exactly what I wanted to do. What drive yeah, up it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was my main goal. You got that. You got it. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't your main goal, was it? <laughs> you right? <laughs> At least I didn't get it on camera, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah, no one will ever see that. <laughs> get a set of oh, bisons, mate. Of bisons, you, mate. You, you're right. <laughs> right. Here he goes. The see now do it. Talk about the drive, not the fall. <laughs> That's it. That's you, baby. Thank you, Spectacular! That's it! Straight through! Spectacular! Yeah! What a drive! Weapon! Where do these guys go? I didn't make it look like that, I'll tell you. That was a great drive, mate. It was a little crunchy at the end, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, top marks, that was brilliant. Up ahead, the rocks just get bigger. Jock might have two left feet, but he sure knows how to pick a line and has dialed this one in perfectly. Oh, sorry, D Max. The rest of the convoy is scrabbling their way through, but up the back, Steve's decided to amp it up a notch. Left hand down. Oh my yep. goodness, drive through it, mate. That's it. Woo! That's it. That's it, well done. Like I said, this track is heaps of fun. But the wheel lifts, well, they've only just started. <laughs> Drive through it, baby! That's it, mate, that's it! Holy dooly! Oh, that, that was, was epic. Nice. <laughs> I can see the whites in your eyes, mate. <laughs> My legs are shaking. Oh, I bet, I bet. This is good fun. Let's go. Get up there. That's it. Right yeah. through it, baby. Woo-hoo! Oh, I love it. How good. That's how you wheel a Luxie. We've got plenty more wheeling ahead before we hit camp, but for tonight's meal, I'm going to have to get some early prep done. Now the boys are just stopped trackside to get a bit of lunch out, and I thought I'd just quietly start to prep dinner. Now, I'm already thinking about it at lunch, because tonight I'm going to make something a little bit special, but it requires a bit of effort earlier in the day to do a bit of marination, if you know what I mean. It's going to be a cold night in Victoria, so I'm heating things up with a spicy Vindaloo goat curry and a hot butter chicken that'll put hairs on anyone's chest. What's going on here, mate? Uh, no, don't, don't read the front of this packet, that's for sure. 
These are going to go back in the My Coolman and marinate until we get back to camp. With a feed on board, it's time to get back into it, with a run of the section that looks almost as spicy as tonight's dinner. Well, this is exciting. We've got a bit of a choose your own adventure section. Sean's decided to go for the hard line. I think he's going to have to give it some herb. Uh, where's he going to go here? Yeah. That's it, mate. Ooh, oh, hey, that felt good. <laughs> Hello. I might need a bit of a hard drive up that hill. Yeah, oh, oh, that's not good. Slider and tray. Oh, your slider's doing its job there. I can feel it. Thank goodness for scrub dogs. That is super close to the bank. Yep. It doesn't feel too bad, but I was waiting for a crunch any moment. <laughs> yep, that's you there. That's pretty much on your tyre marks from before, so you're going to have to commit to it, I think. That's it! Yeah. Beautiful, that was a committing drive mate, well done. Beautiful. How good is this? It's so much fun getting your mates to spot you when you're out in the scrub. You can't see exactly what's going on. I nearly fell into a big rut, but the boys spotted me out of that one. Well, that was one of those times where you've just got to steer out of it and commit, and Sean did exactly that. This is a nice wheel, it was one of those ruts that's slippery, and if you back off, you can be in all sorts of drama on the bank. So he gave it to it when it needed to be, and got through it. That was a good drive. Righto, Pete, what are you thinking, mate? Right or left? Mate, I'm undecided. What are you thinking? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to wh whichever line you choose, but let's just put it this way. If you do choose the right line, it'll be your shout probably tonight and tomorrow night, you reckon, Jocko? Oh, oh, he's going left. He's, he's going left. Okay. Everyone turn around, reset. <laughs> I'm excited by this. Yep. I think he's going to make it look easy. If there's one thing a Vic local knows, it's how to commit to a line, and Pete does just that. How low and wide this thing is. Perfect. That's it. He's gone. See you later. Straight <laughs> up. For the rest of us, I reckon the right hand line might be the go, which comes with much less chance of panel damage. Ah, <laughs> full drives, mate. Yeah, go, go back and give it a little bit. You might need a bit of momentum to it. I'm just dipping out, am I? Yeah, as you can transfer those beers across to our cars now, or you might want more gas. That's it, that's it. Give it a bit, give it a bit, give it a bit. That's it. Yeah. Oh, way to turn it around. Nice drive, as. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there, but a bit more right boot, and we got up there. He's coming up this line, and I think, actually, I don't think I know who's going to feed it. Second gear and give it the Hilux, everything it's got. Power. That's it, that's it, give it a bit. That's oh, it, mate. Well done. Good drive. Good drive. Good drive. With that, Pinnacle's track is in the bag, and it's about time we head out of Cobor and onto our next destination, a wicked private camp we've got lined up nearby. Cobor is just an awesome place to wheel, and we've enjoyed every minute of it. But for now, it's time to make tracks. Jocko, you copy, mate? I sure do, mate, but I'll tell you the truth, I'm having a hard time looking away from this view. It's a stunning part of the world, mate. Rural Victoria, I think that we should make our way to a campsite, mate. We had a fun day on the tracks, that sun's getting low, but even better still, mate, I've got a really cool meal to cook tonight. It'll go either way, but chances are it'll warm you up from the inside out. How good is this, mate? Lead the way, let's get into it. There's nothing better than a big open space all to yourself, and we've found just that at this farm camp in the hills. Camp is soon rolling out, and my chef hat is getting a much needed dust off.
How good is this? We're about 10, 15 minutes from the tracks. We're on a beautiful property. Sun's going down, get a nice fire going. I reckon it's gonna be a good night's camp. You can't have a Victorian camp without a roaring fire. And Jock and Az are back on the dueling chainsaws and have the mitts roof loaded up with enough wood for a big night. Victoria in the winter, folks. Never discount it. With the right gear and the right mindset, this is a cracking time of year to visit. Right now, though, things are about to get a little bit hot in the kitchen. Well, how good's this? Tough tracks down in Victoria and a beautiful campsite to match. Now, a couple of lads in the crew have been, you know, they've been suggesting quite heavily that I do a bit of Indian. Perfect time if you ask me. Nice and cold down in Victoria. Something warm to sort of get you going in the stomach region. And so tonight I'm going full authentic Indian. Mate. Authentic Indian, mate. I am so excited for you this. You shouldn't be just yeah. yet. Just wait. <laughs> just wait, because it's actually quite a challenging one. Mate, you're equal to the challenge, and I reckon we will absolutely nail it. So I what do we do wait. first? First things, mate, let's get that on the go. Yep, well, that's mine. Oh, <laughs> first things first, don't take your mate's beer. <laughs> I'll just turn that on. Now, here's the first, this shows how out of a depth. This is ghee. Now, if you don't have ghee, you can use butter. There it is. Plop. There it is. Now, the, the key is here, we don't want a stack of heat because too much heat will actually burn the spices. I'm gonna go, a couple of good pinches of turmeric. Yep. Ooh, oh. it's everywhere. <laughs> that gives a nice little yellow, but oh, ooh, that, that, that none, none of that, that went, went in. in. Yeah. This is the hot, hot chili. Now you should, actually, you know what? I'm gonna save that for a bit because I've got another chili powder that You've got more than one chili powder. Yeah, this is just normal chili powder. This the other one is just out of this world. Black peppercorns, I'm gonna chug a couple of those in. Bit of cumin, Jocko. I mean, oh, cumin. 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 cumin? cumin. cumin. I, I don't actually know. Yeah. But that's got a that's got a smell to it. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Cumin's got a very pungent oh, it smell. Does. It does. It does. You don't want that all over yourself, do you? These are pre-cooked onions. Yeah. Great when you're camping. Yep. Get that little stir around. Oop, not too much of a stir. Just be too careful. much stir. <laughs> Lucky that didn't have anything in it. Yeah, a bit of garlic paste. Whack a bit of that in. Oops, sorry, mate. Plop. Everyone gets a bit. That should take about a couple of minutes while that starts to get fragrant. You stir that around. I'm gonna jump into the uh, Mike Coolman and I've got the marinated goat meat. Yum, yum, give that, yum. Give that a stir in. Look at that. Now, we wanna increase that heat of crack now. It's the best thing about using this, the old jet boil, you can really dial yeah, in the Yeah, the heat, it's real fine. Yeah, you can dial it in exactly where you need it. Give that a little stir, we'll start to brown that off. While you're doing that, Jocko, yep. I'm gonna start on the old uh, chicken. Yeah, so we've got two curries. Two curries, and we're gonna do a rice as well, so it's gonna be a proper feed, this one, mate. Start with a bit of ghee, that's what we do. A bit more ghee, love a bit of ghee. I'm gonna put a few of those in. Chili powder, we're gonna go a little bit of that. More chili. Turmeric. This stuff goes everywhere. Do you reckon we just go the hot hot? Yeah, you go the hot hot. We should probably taste it before we do this, but a bit of cumin. More cumin. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. You got more cumin. There's a lot of cumin to go around. That's a lot of cumin. <laughs> All over it. <laughs> whack that in, peppercorns, bang. We're gonna whack a couple of peppercorns in. A bit of garlic. We're gonna whack a cinnamon stick in. Bay leaves, do we put them in? And I say stars, a bit of that one. I don't even know what this one is. How's that looking? Is it starting to brown off? Yeah, it is browning off. It's browning That's off great. quite nicely, actually. Great. Keep giving that a stir. Roger I'm that. gonna grab the chicken and I'm gonna add that to what I'm doing here. Here's the chicken. That's been marinating since well, just before lunch, really. I'm gonna whack that straight in. I feel like I'm I'm baking. You're just gonna pipe it out. Yeah, I'm gonna start calling you Nigella. <laughs> nice tomatoes. I'm gonna whack a tin in your one, Jocko. Roger that. You gotta make sure that chicken's really cooked through as well. You don't wanna muck around here. Well, mate, that is starting to smell. Sensational. I think what is needed right now is I might get the rice going now. Yes, sir. I'm, what I'm need to do is I'm gonna do rice in like an authentic way. Steve's actually got the induction cooker going. Must be nice. Oh, he's got the whole setup, mate. So I'm gonna go do the rice over there if you yep. don't mind. Roger that. I'll, well, I'll that. keep stirring this. I'm gonna stand by here. Steve, I'm coming in hot, mate. Oh, you've got the, the full setup. We're gonna to need to use your, your kit, mate. Yeah, I can see you're at capacity over there, bud. <laughs> exactly. you, you've got a fair bit going exactly on. Right. We've got the rice, so 
What I want to do is soak the rice for about half an hour. Oh, we've got a, we've got a blockage. Blockage. Oh, oh, I'm making a mess, sorry mate. I'm going to go cup and a half, I reckon. I'm just going to basically fill that up with water, let that soak, and that's going to sort of wash the rice. That's a, it's, it's going I, to be... I've never gone out this far on the camp. It's, it's very cool, man. It's very cool. All right, let that soak. All right, it is time to cook the rice. I brought a couple of spices with me. The colour of that that shows the starches are out. We're just going to uh, not put it in your swag. Just get yeah, not in the swag. It'd be awesome. <laughs> now this is going to go straight in the induction cooker. Now talk us through what's going to go on right now. We just need to turn on the inverter. Easy done on the Red Vision. How hot do you want it? You want it like full pill? Yeah, let's get, let's get a bit of go about it. All right. We're going to put that in. We might have to stir this. Oh, it is instantly hot. Okay, <laughs> that's too hot. I just I didn't <laughs> I can, know. I can zip it down if you need. Okay, I'm just gonna, I've got to put the spices in. This is where we make all things nice. A bit of turmeric, a bit of cummins. We're gonna have a go of that. Some bay leaves, and they're gonna go with the water. You gotta pull them out, obviously, before you eat it. Cinnamon stick. And this one here is cardamom seeds. I think you need to pull most of those out before you actually eat it. It's already turned the rice a little yellow color. That's exactly what we want. Let's get some water going. I put a cup and a half of rice in, so we want three cups of water. Yeah, I'm just gonna guess. You ready? Yeah, look, it's just fill it past the rice is the key. Look at that, is it nearly boiling already? It's already boiling. How long's that been? Oh, literally two minutes. If that, this is what's so cool about induction. Straight away there's heat, and doesn't matter about the wind. And if you've got the, the 12 volt system to set it up, it's one of the best ways you can cook. Let's turn that down a frack if you can do that. How yeah, far do you want us to go? Let's, go? let's go for a little simmer. I reckon 10 to 15 minutes, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, it should be good after that. How's it looking? Mate, this is not only looking unreal, it is smelling, oh, I'm it's so excited. Sensational. Get your plates, guys. As, do you want some goat? Start, start, start with start rice. With Get some start, rice. Start with a bit of rice. Ooh, the colour of it as well. It's all That's yellow. Dang. Look at that. The smell. How's that? Really How's that? All right, bit of butter chicken, maybe. All right, I'll just put mine on that side. Let me have a little taste. Let me have a little taste. I need to get my fork out. That is unbelievable. You've done a lot. Hey, hey, wow. my goodness. Folks, that is insane. I suggest if you're around a campfire, it's a cold winter's night in Victoria. You've got a few hours spare. <laughs> <laughs> Cook yourself a little bit of uh, traditional Indian, because that is... Even Sensational. The, even oh, the rice. I think this is the best thing you've ever cooked, mate. It might be, actually. The only way to do this better, we'll sit by the fire and really enjoy it. What do you reckon? Absolutely, mate. Well done, boys. Mm. So good. So good. Well, guys, there's only one week left of full drive frenzy to get yourself some savings on products like this run to winch. You can save 147 bucks. Now, if there's ever a time to treat you or your four-wheel drive, it's right now. Four-wheel drive frenzy is here at fourwheeldrive247.com. Not just run the winches on sale, there's a stack of other products. I'm talking brands like Ultimate 9, Max Tracks, Snap Recovery Gear. There's so much there. So do yourself a favor, jump online and save big right now. It might look reasonably clear this morning, but last night our camp was pelted by a massive thunderstorm that dumped a huge amount of rain across the hills, and that's going to make for some pretty exciting wheeling today. The coffees are out and the fire restoked, as we take in the chance for a bit of relaxation before we get stuck into the mud for our final day. Now, Jock thought he was getting fancy with a breakfast jaffle, but Steve's one-upped him with a sandwich press hooked up to the Red Arc system. Now, that's using your noggin. I just realised I'm covered in curry. First thing in the morning, I must have had a bit of spice on, on my hand. Hey, my hands are still got spices it's on, on your pockets too, yeah. where you put your hands in your pockets. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered in turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> Our destination today is Tulangi State Forest, another Vic local hotspot. But conditions could be a bit hectic today, and we've got no idea what we're in for. 
Soon enough, though, we're ready to get into it. Kalangi is known for deep mud and slippery climbs, and it's not long until the forest is closing in and the tracks are getting close. And just as we suspected, there is a lot of water around, and the clay is looking pretty darn slippery. Jocko, terrain is changing, mate, and um, I think Mother Nature's gonna whip up a little bit of moisture for us today, mate. Mate, that only means one thing, and uh, being in Tulangi, I reckon we've got our work cut out for us with a little bit of mud. What do you reckon? Well, I don't reckon a little bit, mate. I reckon a heck of a lot more mud than you've ever seen in your life, knowing this place. Oh, stop it. Bring it on, mate. Will you lead the way? I'm sure uh, we've got some pretty exciting tracks to uh, poke our noses up at and see what happens. you like this one, mate. Let's get into it. We've barely even started on the track before traction has all but disappeared. Up we go, so slippery! I'm gonna have my work cut out for me in the day, Max. Sean is still having rear locker gremlins and the 30 is struggling a little. There we go, just that route. Pro tip, when you're on Victoria's steep, tough tracks, close your trundle oh. tray properly. <laughs> oh, sure no. <laughs> She's slippery. See how we go in these slippery dog ruts. I think Sean's, it's a type of clay where once you take the surface off, it gets way slipperier. So I'll see how the big D-Max goes. Let's have a little go. Oh, there's, there's a bit of traction there. Oh, oh. I might need to turn in a second to give me a bit more wood up this bit. See what happens. Thing out, still got traction, job time, just want to avoid that route. I'll tell you what, these little dual cabs go pretty hard, and Jockey's giving this a real crack. Second gear. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, almost! Almost! Ah, oh, so close! So close, mate. Right through there. Can we go back a little bit? Get a right hand down, just slightly. There you go. There we go, there we go, here we go. Yeah, buddy. What a rig. Go. See if I can get around this. There we go. Cutting brakes, dog. Oh, yes. Ha. This thing goes pretty good. Alright, we've got a couple of blokes small watching from the side of the track, mate. We can't wait to see this one. Uh, what's, your, what's your plan? Well, I think I'm just going to go second gear and feed it, mate. <laughs> Still got there. That's a good sign. 79 spring hangers can make ruts like this pretty tricky, but in this case, there's something else holding as back. Put your front locker in. Put another 
No, I didn't pass. There you oh, go. that's why. There you go. Ah, the old 79 turning circle. Alright, Steve, we're ready for you, mate. When you're ready, um, do your best. It's getting pretty slippery. Yeah, no worries, mate. Thanks. I'm on the way up. Pete Hill. Oh. Uh, PSI Pete, we call him, and uh, for good reason too. He said, oh, I reckon he'll do a bead coming up here. But uh, uh, we should be laughing because this is really difficult. You know, that spot right there, it's coming right off too. I don't reckon we're going to be able to change it there. We might no, need to winch to, him up there. Might have to winch him. Yep. The good yeah. news is the beads come off so far that we can clean the bead real nicely and reseat it. It's true. <laughs> well, the plan here is basically we're going to winch the Hilux into a spot where we can actually have a look at that tyre properly. So try and get it, I say on the flat, but we're still on the side of a mountain. We'll hold it on the winch and the tyres actually come completely off, off the wheel. So with any luck, we might be able to just jack it up on here, reset that bead and we'll be back in business. Winching the vehicle up further also means adding to the mud already on the tyre, but changing it on such a steep spot just isn't a safe option. There's a lot of mud in that wheel. <laughs> oh, there's mud in that bead now. This might be the most mud I've ever seen in a bead. I think that might be a change job. Yeah, that'll do ya. Let's secure the car anyway. Because we're about to jack this vehicle up, and just it's an extra safety measure just to tension up the winch to just hold the vehicle steady. We'll still put a tire under the diff housing, but you can never be too safe in the bush. I think we got to get that back on. Bit of deodorant, a lighter. What sort of deodorant? Like Rexona? Rexona's yeah. the best. Yeah, I like that. Lynx Africa is pretty good. Oh, yeah. like roll-on deodorant works real well for this aid. Eh? Roll on it as well. Yeah, you're a roll-on guy. Yeah. Step one is to get the tyre off the ground and clean out the bead as much as possible. If you can't get the jack high enough, digging under the tyre is also an option. And just a quick note, folks, the deodorant trick is really not something to try at home. Here we go. There's a couple of ways you could have put that tyre back on. I like using a little bit of accelerant because I feel it just sort of blows a little bit of stuff out of the bead. The other way of course of doing it is maybe getting a ratchet strap and getting your air compressor on there. And if you get it lined up just right, it should be able to seat as well. But um, I'll find that one. At least it's a fun way to do it. I it think is, I'm... as long as you're careful. And I mean, you've done it plenty of times before. So. Yeah, you don't want to put too much accelerant in. I think that's the key, just try a little bit and then just give it a little quick hit and uh, make sure your face is not too close to where the burning bits to go and you'll be right. Now of course there's still going to be a lot of dirt in that wheel, so a check over at a tyre shop after the trip will be in order. But for now, it'll get Steve off the tracks. How good! Next challenge. You know what? Don't tell Graham, but I actually froth when I get to go on these trips and take his D-Max because I love working out of this canopy. I've just got so much room for all my stuff. I can chuck dirty recovery gear in this side, plus all my camping gear. Don't tell him, I might have to give it a bit of a clean before I give it back to him though, because there's a whole bunch of dirty recovery gear and bits of old timber in there, but I love it. Okay, onwards and upwards. A little bit of moisture on this track, say it lightly, a couple of big ruts there off camper too. I'm gonna give this a go. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty fun, I think. Just 
just hitting it like a little bit of a lumpy, but I don't want to go too hard because it's such off camber. Yeah, it looks deceptive, mate. You're on a bit of an angle from down here, but it's like, do you power out of it or do you just see what happens? Yeah, it's I don't like this at all. I think you'll be right, but it feels really, really off camber in this rut. By the looks of it, it's going to feel terrible in the 79. Oh yeah, it'll feel ugly. I might just get you to spot me, mate. This is, um, before I hit second, I, I want to know that I'm not going to go on my lid. Ooh, ah, almost made it. Yeah, it looks like it straightens out. That was just a rock. What do you reckon, give it a pump? Yeah, give it a pump, catch a right end down, just a smidge. I've driven some pretty sketchy tracks all around the country, but there's something about Victorian hills that can really put the wind up here. Oh, look at that, big stick. They're steep, slippery, and there's nothing to stop you if you start to go backwards. Slippery, eh? I can't quite oh, get it. It's just a super off camber rut because it's raining. It's starting to get even slippery. Something you really got to commit to. The 30 just doesn't want a bar of it. And then Sean says four little words that he might come to regret. One more, no more. Oh, so close. It's just trying to climb two things at once, I think. You gave it a red odd go. All good. That broken. Alright, I'll just winch this Have bit. a winch? Yeah, have a winch. So Sean's almost at the top, but we heard something let go in the front end on this driver's side front. Maybe a hub or a CV, so uh, we'll just have to winch him up to the flat so we can diagnose it properly. Well, if only. I gave it a red hot go. It's just no rear locker, very wet, and I kept diffing out in those ruts. So I need a momentum. Third gear, which is it's a fair bit of talk to those tyres, ended up breaking something, and I'm fingers crossed it's a it's a hub because I've got spare hub, so it won't be too bad. Doesn't sound great. I think it's a hub. Now's the fun bit, diagnosing what you've broken. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing now, I'm not even taking the tire off, I'm just gonna open up the top of this hub so I can have a look inside. And what I'm hoping, and uh, I think it might be, is the engagement gear is actually broken. I haven't done a CV or an axle. That'd be nice. Um, so I'll take this off, we'll inspect it. Um, I've got another spare hub too, so even if it is broken, I should be all fixed up pretty quickly. That looks broken. Yeah, it looks very broken. That's good news. That's actually a little win for for me, <laughs> because <laughs> what most people be upset about this, this is actually like a sacrificial part. Um, we made it on purpose like that. The hubs usually break. Not my first one of this trip though. Something's telling me maybe you might need to make this a little bit stauncher. Once again, it's out with the tools, as I'm quickly becoming an expert at changing manual locking hubs on an 80 series. It doesn't take too long to get the old one out. That's what's left of the inner hub gear. See that? That's snapped in like 800 pieces. While it's not something you'd want to do every day, I'm happy to say this repair hasn't been too difficult and everything is back together in no time. All right, let's lock these hubs and then we're back in business. Last spare hub. I wouldn't expect I was doing two this trip, but I think it's a combination of having no rear locker, just using the front and uh, using that right foot just a little bit too much, but we'll take it easy from now on. It's a big ask. 
Loving it. Loving it. Tell you what, sometimes I think Pete has a third locker hidden away somewhere because he's just walked up this like it wasn't even there. That is insane. <laughs> Thanks for flying, he says. Thanks for flying. Yeah. That's a good one to get. Very happy with that. You know, I always used to think with the GU that it was the car that made Pete look so good, but proof's in the pudding. Pete just nailed it in that too. Stay in the ruts. That's it. Power. Give it a bit. This is a scary hill to wheel a big, top-heavy 79er, and Az is really going to have to commit. Hey, a little wheel lift. You got this. You got it, mate. Go, 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 go. Go. If you go back and drive it like properly, you'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, drive it like a man. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't feel great. Must feel a bit spicy oh, in the old 79. Right in there. There yes! Yo! Oh, I thought that might have been hung up on there, but he made it look pretty easy. Yep, he showed us how it's done. Keep into it, keep into it. That's it. Yeah, yeah well done, it. well done. That's it. Don't let go. Now. That's it, that's it. That's it, go, 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 go. Got it. And look at that, he's sending it up in style. Awesome drive, mate. Yeah, well done. That's a sensational drive. And that, folks, is Victoria in winter. And what a blast. And if you enjoyed the ride, please give us a like and subscribe. It means a heck of a lot to us. Another spectacular day on some Melbourne tracks and uh, I'm covered in mud, so that's usually a good sign, eh? It's always a great sign, mate. And I don't think you have a choice in Victoria, but mate, I'm smiling like a dog with two tails at the moment. And uh, good that you've had a great trip, mate. Mate, had an absolute ball. Every time we come down here, we poke our nose up a few tracks and there's lots of laughs and lots of wheel spinning and mud and ruts and, oh, it's just a good bit of fun, isn't it? Seems to be a common occurrence on off-road with you, mate. Pete, you got a copy back there, mate? I'm here, mate. I'm just stoked. A uh, Victorian local could take us under their wing, mate, and show us around. It's not a bad part of the world, is it? Uh, plenty of mud, plenty of slippery tracks, some good hill climbs, good mates, can't go wrong. What about you, Az? You've wheeled that 79 like an absolute boss, mate. They're, you know, they're sketchy at times when they come on those big tracks, but you know, you've handled that really well. Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. It's uh, good to put this thing through a little bit more technical stuff. Being down in Victoria, I have an absolute blast down in Pete's neck of the woods, mate. No, you've done absolutely amazing, mate. And speaking of which, Steve, copy, mate? Yeah, got you, mate. Mate, I don't think I've seen a bloke with a bigger smile. You've absolutely loved steering the big Red Arc Hilux and uh, you've done a great job with that one, mate. For a little touring rig, you know, it's um, done some pretty big tracks. Yeah, no, she served me well with this one. I've, uh, I've been surprised. It was an amazing time with an amazing group of, group of lads and uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. No, it's great to hear, mate. Look, I've got one more little surprise for everybody and uh, if you follow me, I guarantee there'll be a couple more smiles all around. There's only one way to properly wrap up a winter wheeling trip, and that's to down a couple of frothies at a local pub. And for us, the Flowerdale Hotel is just a ticket. What an epic few days down in Victoria, mate. Every time I come down here, it really reminds me that these guys have some serious hills, heaps of mud, and um, some of the most fun tracks you'll see. The breakages reminded us of that as well. The breakages, <laughs> couple of breakages, I reckon if I had a rear locker on this trip, it would have been another story, but you know what? Back to the shed to go build it better for next time. 100%, that's the best part of Victoria, isn't it? You can come down here, there's heaps of different tracks to choose from, lots of different levels of full drive. You can yeah. come out here and have fun. Well, I've got to say, it's been a long time in between beers down here in Victoria, but I'm glad I'm down here, especially with you, bloke. So, Mate, big, big cheers. cheers. <laughs> See you next time. So stick around, folks, because up next is a four-wheel drive 24-7 outtakes. 
see how she goes up here. Let's do it, boys, yeah, eh? It's it. Yeah, it's a bit slippery, Pete. You get a bit of heat in the truck. Ah, up right now. Thank you very much. Need somebody with a human. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Everyone gets one. <laughs> Everyone's chewed up the track and spat, spat the rocks out. <laughs> That's how strong the that stubby goggles are. I'm hiding from Luke and he can't see me, but I can see him. I'm somewhere in the bush. Luke, can you see me anyway? Yeah. Where am I? You. You're behind the tree. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, not me Aussie made sticker. All right, boys, plenty of energy, plenty of energy, and we'll get a little oh, link. Yeah. I bought them because my old pants split, and then I've been doing heaps of squats. Yeah, and I'll probably get heaps of comments being like, why are you wearing such tight pants? They weren't tight when I got them. I've just been eating heaps of cake. We get, we get the better looking talent closer to the front. <laughs> Making me feels. I've forgotten that song. <laughs> On that TV screen 24-7. Da, da, da. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. And that's all you get. You just get that. And if you don't like it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>